No, it's not City Skylines. It's Cities in Motion 2. So let's go move some people around, shall we? So hi there, Steve here, and welcome to Cities in Motion 2. Yep, rather than in City Skylines where we're, we're creating a city and expanding our city, in this we're moving people around. It's all about transport. So I thought it'd be something a little bit different along the, uh, the city building um, sort of sandbox simulation type genre, um, but thought it'd be something sort of different. We move people around by driving a bus, in this we create bus routes and sort out a transport system in city skylines we're creating the city that the transport system moves in so all three games a little bit linked but what we do in this first video is go through the tutorials so moving around is the first thing um, view the map and move around so we can use the WS and D keys and we can use the center mouse wheel to zoom in and we can hold the center mouse wheel to rotate the map um, so we can get quite an in-depth look at our city down to street level so a lot more in-depth than we currently get with uh, city skylines I think so there's a lot more to a city than what you can see on the street level to really get to know who is going where and what destinations are most popular you can use the map data tab you can find this under a drawer icon so let's zoom out a little bit so map data is there uh, select buildings and then blue collar to display the typical blue collar locations so buildings so type of building and then blue collar um, so let's swing that way around so this shows you basically the brighter the building, the more it's inhabited by those people. So the bright yellow tower blocks here are where the blue collar workers live and the red ones over here are where they work. So bright green shows the building where the most blue collar workers live, bright red shows where they often most work. So we got that. Now our next step is to have a look at the tools you have at your disposal to build a thriving transport system. You will find many different vehicle types. Go to the build panel to see what's available. So we go to build panel. So we've got, uh, I'm guessing it's there, construct structures. So I'm click next. Choose the bus tools, which we found on the construction menu by pressing the bus stop button. Okay. Um, Later there will be many different buildings that you can use, but right now we use the most basic bus stop type. Build a bus line now. Start by building a depot and placing the stops and keeping in mind that your line must start and end at the depot. Okay, so it makes sense to put the depot over in our industrial type area, doesn't it? It's out of the way, maybe down here somewhere. So this is the, is the depot, that's the depot. So we've got to put this somewhere, so we'll put it right there. Okay, and place the stops. So how do we place a stop? So this one? Bus stop, okay. Um, so if we try and do a little route that gets our workers to and from the island here. So we'll one there. One there. One there. Oh, mate. Yeah. So we want to really go. Okay, we've got one there. One there. And then we'll take them across here on the highway. Where does that come in? That comes in there. So we'll go there. That's one way. There. Is that one way? Is that one way? That's one way. We go, okay, we go there. There. And back out, maybe, over the bridge. Try to work out where we're going to come. We're going to come back down here. So maybe there. And there. Okay. So we've done that. More. It said six stops, so I think we've got a few more than that. Um, 
build a bus stop line and start building a depot and placing stops and keep in mind that you must start and end at a depot try placing six stops okay open the transport panel and create a new bus line okay transport panel so that one that's for buses okay so create new okay uh, choose add stops and begin with a depot and add the stops in the order you want the vehicle to visit them okay so add stops so start with depot I see it gives a little route that a bus is going to take so where do we go there 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 and we went around here wasn't it yeah there then it was off into the city there there and there there and yeah slightly more than six but okay and it was back off there to there to there and then back to the depot okay um Oh, it's so cool. yeah, let me help our people into walks or stops. Yeah, if you want to run the line quite often, you might wish to choose the first stop at the end of the line, and this way, the vehicle continue around a circuit immediately if the line needs it. Skipping it, stop by the depot, close the line by guiding the bus back to the depot, which we've done that. Okay. Next, click on your bus depot and buy three vehicles. You can see the estimated number of vehicles the line needs by checking the info page in the line window. Ah, so it's saying four okay so depot so buy vehicles so we'll go for the basic one we don't want to be greedy first of all so if it says four we'll buy four and purchase is that it um a post your vehicles the line will automatically start to run according to a timetable you can adjust a timetable whenever you like stop the line temporarily click the small green icon next to the line small green icon next to the line oh, this one up here i suppose Toggle activity. Okay. So depot one. Okay. Uh, where's my line then? So how do I see? Well, it's depots. I want to see lines and like line one. There we go. Uh, okay. Right. Next. Looks like your line could do with longer breaks between vehicles. Go to the transport panel and open the bus line by clicking on it click on the little clock okay whoa um, add some more time between vehicle departures once you have a line going take a look at how full the vehicles tend to be if they are half empty you should adjust the line to run less frequently if people are packing packed in like sardines you should dispatch vehicles more often so we're claiming that's 210 okay That's fine. You may sometimes find yourself in a situation where there's no good way to arrange a route. If you get stuck like this, here's a little trick. Build a new road. You can choose from many different types and everything affects the flow of traffic in the city. Large avenues come with traffic lights and have much greater capacity than smaller roads. Small roads have intersections without traffic lights and thus are, faster, are the faster option when you're building a low traffic area. Okay, so I'll get that. Uh, very well done. Now trams are a bit different from buses. They need tracks to run on. No, really? Um, why don't you try your hand at building a tram for them? Just choose roads from the tools panel and select the tracks. You can lay single tracks or double tracks, whatever you wish. To connect tracks over intersections, first click on the track piece you want to connect and then select the place you want it to go. So, okay, so where's... So that bus line's going to... What about if we just did a... God, make it rid of all these. So what about if we just did a little tram route up and down here maybe? Just to get people from this industrial area that live up here. So, so I'm guessing we'll have to build a tram depot. So construct structures, shorty structures, tram structures. Oh, it's oh I'll put the roads first, duh. Trolley wires, tram track. Okay, so where do we want it? If we go, if we build a, okay, if we go there, 
right? Has that actually done anything? I must be able to stop. I didn't want to be able to stop. I wanted to build... A tram track. Ah, I see. Alright, okay. I'll actually go click on the... I get it now. Tools. Hang on. Tools. Roads. Tram track. Tram track 2. I see. Okay. So, let me go there. There. Why is it not let me build two anymore? Okay, that's quite strange. So how do I... Okay. So I'll touch the end of it, and then there. That's the end of that. And that. Whoa, I don't do that. No, no, no. Okay. I'm sort of getting this. So, if we go all the way up here. I'm guessing that's going to interfere with our car traffic though, isn't it? Because trams are using the same... Okay, how far are we going to go? What would you go up here and turn around at the top then? I don't think we actually need... a single double track do we? we just run it with a single because the tracks are going one way I don't know why you could future proof it I suppose ok so here's where we Okay, so we built the tracks, now we need to build the depot, I'm guessing. Because uh, tram structures, tram structures, tram depot. Why can't we build a tram depot? That stops on a depot. Oh, no, that's then we do it. Okay, so we'll build a depot then. In there. Demolish whatever building was there, but I'm guessing there's no tracks going out there, though, is there? Let's just zoom. Whoa. No. So, what's the point of having a depot with no. There we go. So, we've got our depot. Now we need to add. Uh, tram structures, tram stops. Okay, so one there. Make sure we know where where the tram tracks actually go. Go down here. They got there. Okay, people seem to have lost the tram tracks. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We didn't actually go... Okay, we didn't actually finish the tram tracks, did we? Oh! Um, Ok, 
Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll go around there like that. Like that. There we go. Right, so now we can build some stops. Okay, so we've got one there. We have one there. 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 And we'll come back down the other side. I think these WS and D keys really should. Oh god, hang on, I rotated there. That's not good. Okay. There. Not used to using the WAS and D keys, so I do apologise. Uh, and we'll go one right outside the depot. Okay. So now we've got to create uh, a line then. So tram, create new. And then add stops. So it's got to start there. To there. 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 Quite a few stops. We're outside the house. Wouldn't I would love to live there. Okay, there. There. There we go. Okay, so it's saying Rick was running north of three. So I need three trams then according to this. So I need to click on the depot. Buy vehicles. Tram. Two, three. Purchase. Um, station panel. Okay, so there we go. My first tram. How cool is that? With a rickety old bus going that way. Okay, so that's cool. Right. Only transport panel and add a new tram line. Choose how to stop. We've done that. Click on the depot and open it, select transfer panel, and then buy it. I've done that. Sometimes you need to take out a loan to handle the upfront expenses to get your company going. Banks offer you loans, you check out the possibilities. So where's that then? I'll double click on that factory. I don't want to borrow a loan. I've got money. Okay, thanks for that anyway, but no thanks. There's a lot of information available which shows how your company is doing. Have a look at the graphs panel, which is situated in the bottom bar down here then. Whoa! What's all this then? Company popularity, number of stops. Okay. Passengers transported. Passengers transport vehicle type. God, there's a lot of information here I think we're going to be able to look at. There's money. Cash flow. Okay. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, pricing is also of great importance. To pay your loans, you might need to adjust the ticket prices. Also note that the economic, economic situation is likely to change every once in a while. Keep an eye out for the di displeased passengers and adjust your prices accordingly. Just now you can loan a bit. Why would I want to do that? Our ticket prices. So... A single line, so I can loan them. Okay, this means I'm going to make less money, but okay. You can set customised ticket price zones. Just use a zone tool and paint the zones however you like. You know, up to four price zones. Hey, zones. Okay, so is that like zones in London, I suppose? Okay, so let's have a look at this then. So... 
zones. Zone A. Whoa! That's a that's a lot of yellow. It's all yellow at the moment. Okay. So zone. If I think what do I do, do I just paint? If I have all this as oh yeah. So if we have this island as zone B, then that makes sense. Okay. You also control the wages. Hang on, let me get out of that now. Let me just get back in this. Okay. So a little bit. You also control the wages of paid to your employees. Higher wages bring a variety of benefits. For example, mechanics with higher wages use their time more efficiently and can thus take care of more vehicles. Have a look at the wages of an open economy panel and giving everyone a 20 cent rate. Wait, rage? Wage. Okay, well that seemed to do something. Every scenario has an objective which you must meet to proceed with the campaign or finish the scenario. You can see the objectives by clicking on the objectives tab on the left edge of the screen. This tab shows you how to close how close you are to your goal. And by clicking on it you can consider the task once again to refresh your memory. Now it's time to complete the objective and finish the tutorial. You have now completed the tutorial, press next to start playing. Oh, we've gone back to the load screen. So yeah, um, that I think has got some potential. Um, I think we could uh, possibly... Uh, well, that's not the city I was just in. Uh, good day to you. I'm Stephanie York, the mayor of the city. We are so glad to have you here. The citizens have been asking for a public transport system for a long time. For me, the most important thing is to keep citizens happy and make the city grow. You can get to work immediately. So I've got to establish 15% coverage. Um, so yeah, I do think this has some potential. Uh, I like the old transport. You know, we drive a bus in OMSI. We sort bus routes, buy buses uh, in cities in motion. And in City Skylines, we build the city that the bus is running. So they all sort of link together. So I do think that this potentially has some scope. Um, my immediate thinking is if we're going to do a firm bus Friday, we could do um, Cities in Motion on a Saturday, City Skylines on a Sunday. So have the weekend to City Building, Transport Building, and leave OMSI and firm bus during the week. If that's something you want to see and you want to see me carry on with this, then yeah, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Um, I do read all the comments and reply to them. So yeah, don't be shy. If you're one of my viewers and you haven't commented yet, then yeah, yeah, please drop a comment. I don't bite. So I do think that there is some scope for this game. And hopefully you all agree. It doesn't seem much nice traffic on this road, does it? Um, Hopefully you all agree, and it's something we could then um, carry on with. So all being well, until the next time then, thanks very much for watching.